Most people don't get excited when they hear the term mechanical room, but I'm going to show you what we have in here that makes this house very unique and why these systems that we have here are so important to the health, comfort, and efficiency of this home. So let's take a look and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So the first system we're going to look at is the water system. So you have water coming in from the outside and it's coming through this triple stage filtration for the whole house. So every sink, every tub, every shower is first being filtered through these three filters. So it's a sediment filter and then two carbon block filters, which is reducing um, harmful contaminants like chlorine and chloramines, as well as any little pieces of dirt and other contaminants that might come through the system. One of the filters could also be changed out for a KDF filter, which can help to reduce heavy metals like lead. Um, so primary water is coming through here, then it's passing down through the water softener. So primarily the water softener is going to help with extending the life of appliances by cutting down on the hardness in the water caused by minerals that build up. It's going to extend um, the cleaning capacity of detergents that you use. It's going to keep your hair and skin smoother and it'll keep water spots off of your tub, off of glass. Um, also help to keep down uh, soap scum and bathtubs. So a water softener does a lot of great things and so we decided that it would be important for this house to have that in it as well. Then once the water has been softened, the water flows over going through the two water heaters. So you might be thinking, wow, two water heaters. And this one is your standard electric. There's nothing special about it. It heats water. This is a hybrid unit. What it is doing is it is taking the hot air out of the attic, which is right here, sucking in the hot air. There is a compressor inside that it works just like an air conditioner. It's taking the, the heat and it's transferring it down into the water and then it's the cold is being blown out and is actually going up into the, um, the conditioned part of the attic. So this unit right here is really ideal here in Texas because it's taking all of the heat and actually making hot water for you. So this uses about 25% of the electricity of this one over here. So water first flows into here and the water is heated up and then it flows over into this tank. So this tank doesn't have to do as much work and this one is going to be saving you a lot of money. Again, you're using about a quarter of the amount of electricity that this one uses, as long as you're using it in hybrid mode. Then down here, we've also got a recirculation pump. So that, um, that pump can be set to turn on when you want it to turn on and turn off when you want it to turn off so that everywhere throughout the entire house, you're gonna have instant hot water. So it doesn't require you know some funky connection under a sink that might give you warm water at that sink, but not cold water. Uh, some of those systems have been put into houses and people are not happy with them because they did not have a dedicated return line. This system has a dedicated return line so that you're not mixing hot and cold. You'll have nice hot water instantly as well as having cold water there. So these are the water systems in this house. Water is very important and we've made sure that we put in the best systems so that everything functions as it should so it's more comfortable and healthier for you. Now we're looking at HVAC, which is pretty straightforward. We've got a four ton heat pump unit here and a two ton heat pump unit. Both of them are Goodman's and both of them have about a 15 sear rating. We could have gone with a single unit and had two zones, but I found that two units uh, will be a lot more efficient and keep a house at a much more reasonable temperature than having a single unit that's trying to fight two different zones because we all know that upstairs is always a lot hotter than downstairs. So this four ton unit is servicing all of the upstairs as well as the living room, uh, the great room there. And then the two ton is just from the kitchen back for the first floor covering all of those rooms. So with this system, it's able to keep the house at a much better temperature throughout the entire breadth of the house. Now we're gonna take a look at another unit that you're not gonna really find in a lot of homes but I'm gonna show you why it's really important and why I'm glad we put it into this house. So behind me here, we have an FAA, a fresh air appliance. Now what this thing does is it brings in fresh air from outside the home, 
cools it down so it's not 100 degrees, and it pumps it throughout the rest of the home. The benefit of this is that it is bringing in fresh air while not costing a whole lot in additional air conditioner usage. If you just had a, a, a window that was thrown open, the air conditioner would have to fight that 100 degree air coming in. This, the way it works, is it has a membrane in here. The hot air comes in, passes through here, and the cold air, the stale old air, is going out that's already been conditioned. While that cold air is going out and the hot air is coming in, they're both passing through a membrane. Neither The air is not touching, but rather they've got very thin walls where the temperature of the airs are able to exchange. So that hot, humid air coming in is being exchanged with the cool, climatized air that's leaving. So you're getting fresh air coming in and you're not having that huge temperature spike that your air conditioner has to fight. Now, why is this important? Well, as houses have become tighter in their build, which this is one of them, where everything is sealed, the tighter that we have our houses built, that means the less fresh air we're getting in. And we have furnitures and mattresses, rugs, and even our clothing that is coming from sources where there are uh, pollutants in them. And so this is the best of both worlds. It's bringing in fresh air from outside. It's filtering that air through the air conditioner as well as the actual system itself. And it's reducing the temperature of that fresh air coming in so the air conditioner doesn't have to fight so much to try to keep everything cool. So this is something that you're not going to typically find in a house unless you specify it. But they really should be in pretty much every modern build nowadays. So this system right here, along with the HVAC, helps to filter the air, helps to climatize it, and helps to keep everything fresh and moving so you don't have to be worried about the basic air that you're breathing. Hopefully that was clear and concise and helpful for you to understand the systems that we have put into this house. I like to think of this room as the heart of the home, helping to keep everything performing and functioning as intended. The other benefit to having everything being in this room is that if anything needs to be repaired or maintained, it's right here. You can access all the filters in one room and keep track of everything because as we know, out of sight, out of mind, and most people are not maintaining their filtration system as they should, or their water heaters, everything has maintenance needed for it. And so having it all here, you can come in, everything is very easily accessible. And I'll be making another video on everything you need to do to maintain this room and you'll see how easy it is to keep everything running as it should. Thanks for watching.